Hello guys and thanks for joining me in my next video here. Uh, I came across this article at CNN Business about practicing religion in space. This article is kind of weird in that it starts out talking about how, you know, people who want to visit in space might have trouble practicing their religion. It begins its interview process by talking to someone who's not very religious but describes himself as a Jew. Um, <clears throat> let me see if I can find his face. This guy, Jared, Jarek Isaacman. But to be honest, he doesn't plan on even observing Yom Kippur because he's not a religious person. Like, okay, then why did you guys even talk to him? Like, <laughs> So then it goes into like, oh, this is going to be so difficult because, you know, you're going to spin around the earth so fast. You're going to have 16 days and you're going to do all this stuff. Now, I just don't understand where they're trying to come from. I did think this was interesting. Religion in space, a history, astronauts and religious leaders attempt to imbue extraterrestrial pursuits with spiritual significance from the earliest days of space flight. Now, I had heard this uh, basically only in church. I didn't know that this was real. So this is cool. During NASA's Apollo 8 mission in 1968, the astronauts conducted a reading of Genesis, the first book of the Bible, on their way to orbit. Uh, do, do, do. Let's see. Buzz Aldrin, who was with Neil Armstrong during the first moon landing in 1969, also quietly took communion from Eagle Lunar Land Lander, taking a sip of wine and bite of bread blessed by his Presbyterian minister back in Houston just before the men took humanity's first steps on the moon. And kind of with me, it always seems to me that when we have scientific articles like this and we have these things where, well, things are changing, how are religious people going to deal with it? I mean, the same way we always dealt with it, we just keep going. We still do it. Like, <laughs> I have seen or I have read articles that suggest that as we become more technological, we'll, we will become more atheist and religion sorry i gotta move this for a second religion will die because we won't be able because it's so like sun centric or it's so uh based on like a place or it's based on this and you won't be at those places so you won't have any way to really you know like practice your religion successfully or religion will look so different that it won't be the same and all i can say to the, like, that sort of idea and this article is basically kind of trying to say the same thing in that this is going to be such a problem. How are the religious going to do it? Like the same way we've always done it, guys. We're not going anywhere. Um, Christianity, the only two things, one, if I'm a tourist, okay, one, if I'm a tourist, I'm not staying up there. So I would just go whenever I don't have other things going on. Like <laughs> so simple, right? Um, like they said here, what was it? Buzz Aldrin? Yeah. Took, um, communion there. It says not to, so that's the only, there's only two things in Christianity I can think of that being a space tourist or even living in space, which is where the article basically goes to. If we're living in space, how are you going to be religious? Um, <clears throat> there's only two things that might be different in Christianity. Basically everything else is the same. And that's basically the taking of communion and the fact that we're not supposed to, we're always supposed to be around the church. We're not ever supposed to like not be with the church. It says not to, um, oh, I can't think of the right word. Basically don't forsake the gathering together of yourselves. There it is. Uh, as some religions do. So, you know, this is not going to be a hard thing for a Christian. A Christian can go into space. They can do whatever they want to do, basically, in this and still live a Christian life. So <laughs> I just always think it's funny that they try to say that it would be, it's just going to be, a religion's just going to go away. And it, it just never has. We're the most technologically advanced we have ever been that we know of, that we can tell. And we're, and religion still flourishes. We're almost more religious than we ever have been in some ways. So 
I don't know. What do you guys think about this? This is just sort of a, a, a I call it a fluff piece for CNN because CNN business doesn't like, what do you have to do with talking about religion? But <laughs> that was an interesting fluff piece. I just bring it up. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next one. Remember to pray and read your Bible today.